Hello, everyone. I am Sayed Muhammad Ali from USN Lab at Pukyang National University, Busan, South Korea. Today, I'm going to present my paper for the IEEE Census 2021 conference. The title of my paper is Detection of Skin RGB Color with a Battery-Free NFC Skin Care Device. I did this work under the supervision of my co-author, Professor Wen Yang Chung. So this is the main agenda of my presentation. I will be starting from the introduction part that what is NFC, what are the intended applications of NFC, and how we deploy this NFC approach for our skincare device. Then I will be discussing concretely about the system structure of our uh, skin RGB device. And then I'll be discussing about the experimental results, which we did uh, on different subjects using our skin RGB color device. And finally, there will be the conclusions. So what is NFC? NFC stands for the near field communication. Uh, it uses electromagnetic induction to enable communication between devices within the few centimeters. The distance could be around zero to two centimeters typically. So the communication can be between two smartphones, as you can see from here, or it can be between the laptop or the smartphone but one thing we should remember that it works on the ism band of 13.56 megahertz frequency and the, where the nfc chip is located in the smartphone it is typically on the battery of the smartphone so uh, here i am going to discuss about our approach to skin care so when we are exposing our skin under the direct sunlight or in the outside environment so there are different kinds of radiations typically known as uv radiations the uv radiations consist of uva uvb and uvc uva are less harmful but highly penetrating while the uv radiations are extremely harmful and can cause damage of the dna skin cells and also these type of radiations are responsible for the tanning of the skin because uh, when you stay for a prolonged period of time, the color of the skin will change due to these radiations. So what we did, we developed the skin RGB color device using the UV sensors and the color sensor. And these device, this device is capable of harvesting its energy from the NFC smartphone. So what were the possible demerits of the previous skincare devices? What were their major limitations? So they need mostly a battery or solar power to operate, and they were big and bulky in size and were not convenient to carry outside. Uh, and they were not recognized as the smart and wearable and non-invasive devices. So these figures represent about the typical skincare devices available in the market, uh, which are mostly based on the battery or on the solar cells. And as you can see, they are not convenient enough to take and carry outside because they are very big in dimensions and size. So let me here discuss about the typical applications of NFC. It can be used for the access control of the doors. You can open the door or it can be used for the mobile payments. It can be used for the loyalty programs. It can be used on store marketing. It can also be used for the location-based services like for the GPS locations. It can be used for the target marketing for typical product. It can be used for the information exchange between the two smartphones. And interestingly, it can also be used in the social networks. Like when you want to log in the Facebook, you can use the NFC. So what are our novel approach address? Our novel approach addresses the four main aspects that we develop the battery free skincare device, which is capable of harvesting its power energy from the NFC smartphone. We develop an uh, Android app, a convenient app, which is capable to measure the readings. And we also did the experimental analysis on different subjects using RGB skin color detection. So this is the typical system structure of our battery-free NFC skin care RGB device. It consists of the NFC antenna, the NFC transponder chip, MCU, and the two color sensors and the 
UV sensors. So NFC antenna is uh, harvesting its energy from the NFC smartphone, and it is also sending the data back to the smartphone using the NDEF data communication protocol. As you can also see from here that the communication between the MCU and the NFC transponder chip is based on I2C. And similarly for the color sensors and the MCU and the UV sensor and the MCU is based on the I2C2. So this is all about the communication protocol. Then here comes at the structure of the NFC coils. So as I already told you that it's, the NFC chip is embedded on the battery of the smartphone. So we open the foil of the NFC battery and just noted the dimensions. So there are total 16 conductors in the, on the, by the, the width of the conductor, each conductor is 0 0.1 centimeter, while the distance between the two conductors is 0 0.1 centimeter. And this represents the dimension of our skincare device. And as you can see the length and the other important parameters. So in order to harvest the energy sufficiently and uh, tune the antenna properly, we use the network analyzer. So uh, before adding the tuning capacitor, this was the inductance and the device was behaving like as an inductive device. So in order to tune it properly, we add the capacitor. So adding the tuning capacitor, the response of the device of the circuit became resistive before it was completely as inductive. So when we added the cap tuning capacitor, the device could resonate and could harvest sufficient energy from the NFC smart pool. But one thing we, uh, we have to mention it here that we also add the, um, we soldered the components in order to add the parasitic capacitance values before adding the tuning capacitor. So this is the PCB structure of our skin RGB device. Uh, on the top level, there is the UV sensor consisted of the eight and calls antenna. And also at the bottom layer, we have the color sensor, the NFC chip and the NF MCU. And this device is uh, enclosed in the 3D structure uh, developed on the 3D printer. So this is figure represents about the maximum peak to peak voltage harvested from the NFC smartphone as, and as we are moving the smartphone away from this skin RGB device, the harvested voltage tends to decrease. And this figure represents about the data communication and the crop pulse between the MCU and the NFC chip. So this is the structure of our Android app. There are two options. One is the skin color check, while the other one is the UV index check. So the skin RGB color consists of three um, circular bars. You can see here, like uh, the range for the R is 219, while for the green is 145, while for the uh, blue is 157. So these are the scales of the RGB color of the typical subject that we measured with the, our battery free skin RGB device. And we also measured the UV index using the same uh, Android ad, like we have the option here. And this bar represents about the history of the UV measurements taken out during the full day experimental analysis period. This figure represents about our experimental results analysis of the typical corresponding subject that we started the experiment at 12 o'clock and then finished at around 4.30. Obviously it depends on the battery of our smartphone and it could last for such amount of time. It cannot work for any more, so for more than like 4.30. So as you can see from here that the, during the start of the experiment, we were having like the RGB color ranges here. Like for the R, it was 191, while for the green, it was 83, while for the blue, it was 75. And when we stopped the experiment at around 430, 
uh the rgb color change the scale change as you can see it is going to one to two nine zero for the green and the nine one for the blue and you can see from this uh pointer that it moves move towards the more darker region so it means that tanning of the skin happened uh, while using this uh, experiment analysis because we are exposing the subject directly to the sun consisted of uv radiations so these are the main conclusions we adopted the battery free approach from nfc smartphone to determine skin rgb color and uv radius measurements and uh, one more important thing that energy harvesting also depends on the dimension of the transmitting and receiving coils higher the dimensions higher the tons of the transmitting antenna higher will be the harvested energy and one more important thing that we use the smart skin care device with android app interface which is very convenient and easy for the anyone to carry it outside for the uh, experimental analysis so these all are about our conclusions and thank you for your attention